Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The terminally guided munitions has capability to hit a target with higher precision and lesser collateral damage than regular munitions. As the name suggests, these munitions are guided at their terminal or last stage while very close to the target for strike with pinpoint accuracy. These munitions typically use radio signals from global position systems GPS, laser guidance and inertial navigation systems using gyroscopes to improve a weapon's accuracy to reportedly less than 3 meters. The proliferation of anti-access area denial system is likely to increase the operational utility of precision guided munitions. In particular, peer competitors like China and Pakistan have deployed sophisticated air defenses that increase the risk to Indian forces entering and operating in these regions. Using advanced guided systems, PGMs can be launched at long ranges to attack an enemy without risking Indian armed forces. Indian Army has sought invitation for expression of interest for procurement of 1,966 rounds of 155mm terminally guided munition under Make 2 category of DAP 2020. The procurement will happen in two phases. The phase 1 is going to be prototype development phase in which 25 rounds of 155mm terminally guided munitions along with four fire control systems are sought. In phase 2 or procurement stage, 1966 rounds of 155mm terminally guided munitions to be delivered at a rate of 197 TGM per year for 10 years. It also includes 170 fire control system, 87 projectile simulators and 87 sectionized projectiles. This munition is going to be fired from 155mm gun units of Indian Army using more than one technique for guidance with minimum human interference. The munition should be compatible with all in-service 155mm guns of 39, 45, 52 caliber gun system. Primary mode of guidance will be through jam resistant internal GPS IR NSS GLONASS receiver. Secondary mode of guidance in addition to the primary mode may be through MMW, laser or IR wherein the designator will also be provided along with a munition system capable of illuminating the target which can operate either from a ground based observation post, air observation post from a helicopter, remotely controlled unmanned aerial vehicle. The munition should be capable of receiving these target illuminating signals and then home on to the target. The munition should be resistant to jamming. It should have inbuilt electronic countermeasures which could enable its jam radio frequency generating devices along its trajectory. The circular error probability of the munition should be less than 10 meters for all ranges while being guided in any terrain that is plain, semi-deserts, deserts, mountain and high altitude areas. These terminally guided munitions are going to be different from precision guided kits the fire and forget Excalibur munition bought by the army. After the Balakot airstrike in February, the army fast-tracked procurement of 155mm Excalibur precision guided munitions from US and it had been inducted in 2019. The Excalibur projectile is developed by Raytheon and BAE systems. The biggest challenge with this indigenous procurement is that at present no Indian vendor makes terminally guided munition. Forget TGMs, there are no Indian vendors that make basic munitions of 155mm guns. The technology employed to make this would be critical as precision munition is a costly affair. It deteriorates faster and requires high maintenance. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.